Okay, y'all, I made a mistake. So this is actually herbs only. This is the Smoker's Blend. We're celebrating 420. Glee Medicinals is working with me. Decided to give my viewers a discount. So actually, y'all did a favor for everybody because since um, my viewers won, I was like, hook us up. She's hooking everybody up. So for a little while on GleeMedicinals.com, you can get this smoke blend. This is the loose leaf. You can also get these pre-rolled. Again, these are herbs, YouTube. This is Smoker's Lung. This is a respiratory tea. This supports asthma, any type of breathing issues. So we're supporting healthy lungs. If you smoke a lot, well then, this can help cleanse them out, clear them out, give you a better support, okay? So I apologize. Again, this is GleeMedicinals.com that's helping us out. That is my daughter. Link is in the description box below. Thank you so much, and I hope you find it helpful. Take care and enjoy your video. Hey there, welcome to Reading Journey. I am Chief Empress Healing Flower, AKA Journey. Doing a reading for whoever may need it. If you're new, welcome for coming back. Welcome back, so glad to have you. All right, so I definitely wanna mention my spiritual parents, my mama, my papa, creators of everything. That's who I talk to. I don't care what you believe, it's totally up to you. But I think it's important that you know you know, we're watching a reader, what what it is they believe, what it is they're calling, <laughs> and what it is they're doing, especially when you're sharing energy. Oh yeah, and also on, in honor of 420, um, there is a discount going on with Lee Medicinal. She says, Smoker's Lung is an herbal tea. It's great for struggle with asthma, simply aiming to fortify your respiratory system, a discount. That link is in the description box below. Just uh, click on the more button. It'll take you there. She also does respiratory tinctures. And she also has the herbal smoke blend. Is this one. All right. And it's for your nervous nervous system and respiratory system with your, without traditional smoking products. Um, I think she just put them on discount. So she said all the um, pre-rolled and loose. Okay, let's get into it. Thank you so much. All right, love. What's the message, sweet spirit? What do we got going on here? What do we got going on? What's the theme? Hmm. I'll take this one. 202. The void, huh? Okay. That did fall out slowly, too. Something about the void. Okay, let's see. You may feel like you're trudging through life. You might feel like you're trudging through so life or someone does. This may be someone feeling that way about you or this is you, okay? Take it as it resonates. I see a lot of twos though. So there's a lot of things happening here with decision, but I also see 11, which is about mastery, that you mastered something. Now the choice is up to you. Yeah, even this card says it's up to you. All right. Because there's something that you want, all right? There's something that you're calling in. There's something that you're wanting to desire. Um, you may have been stressed out about this. Um, but the most high angels, guys, whatever you believe in, is saying you are a genius. You have it in you. You have um, what you're wanting is already there. This, is all, this card also says good fortune. <laughs> yeah, and unseen forces. Yeah, and I feel like, again, it's up to you because there is help here. Um, I feel like at this point, it's time for you to this time take the step. It's really up to you at this point, okay? It may not seem that way, especially with these energies. These energies are very, they are dense. I was saying to my daughter yesterday, I was like, it's funny. I was like, because I should say it's kind of strange that the energy feels just thick. And I was walking like, and I was going slow motion and I was going like this. This is what the energy feels like. And it's like, you can get to the other side. You still, you see, I still have motion, right? I can get there, but I'm going to have to trudge through it. And I know that doesn't always feel good. And let me tell you that energy, I've been feeling it right with you, Sia. If you're new, I call my people Sia's, okay? But it feels like you're in the void. And just like you feel that way, 
if you feel like somebody is doing something to you and you're not moving forward because of another person, they feel the same way, okay? The only thing they can do at this point for many, for many, the energy that's happening right now that I've been seen and picked up on, um, especially with those who've been riding with me for a little while now, um, at least for the past year or so, it's really you're at a place now where you have to make the decision to go through it. I'm here to go through that gate. You have to make the decision, but it's right there. Now you just have to call it in. You have to just almost to a point to get angry, but not angry at yourself, not angry at another person, not angry at the situation. Just so angry that you're like, I'm not staying in this anymore. Right? 5.33 on the clock. And I'm moving forward. And I apologize for the sniffles. It's allergy season. Um, I'm, I'm not, I'm, you know, I'm going to move. I'm not staying in this. Whatever this is or wherever this is or whoever this is, I'm not staying with this anymore. I'm not dealing with this, this um, attitude or energy anymore. I don't have to. You really don't have to. You really don't have to. You have support out the wazoo. Now it's just like I'm seeing like people, I'm seeing like, you're, you're like, and this could be your ancestors because what they showed me was people just standing and waiting, just waiting for you to take, make that move and make that call so they can go ahead and do what they got to do for you because now it's your turn, okay? This is beautiful though. I see it beautifully. It says it here, it says good fortune, good, good fortune from unseen forces. You have all types of help around you and in the background. And now they're just waiting for you. But I definitely see that you're tired of being in that energy. Go deeper. So maybe some of you or someone needs to go just a little bit deeper. Speak your world into being. Yep. Go deeper. Say what you want. Go deeper. Say what you want. I'm telling you, they're waiting for you to say, okay. Enough is enough. Let's go. Let's go. I don't want to do this anymore. Not even I don't want to. I'm not going to. Now, I know somebody's like, yeah, I don't know. It just seems, it almost feels too good to be true. Like, you want to shut it off because, ah, uh, it seems too good to be your true journey. I'm not even going to bother to do it. Okay. If you don't, if you don't open your mouth, if you don't try, I'm going to, I'm telling you, you're going to miss out on something big. And what I've noticed is if you don't open up your mouth and try 744 on the clock, because I'm telling you, this energy is getting ready to switch. Things are getting ready to come to a head. And for somebody, it's going to be chaos. And for others, it's going to be bliss out your, out, out. Bliss beyond your measures. And I know that sounds, oh, you know, a journey that sounds real great. <laughs> you ain't got to believe me. But what if you did? What if you gave it one last push? What if you really just, what if you just simply said, you know what? This is what I'm going to do. This is what I need done. Answers is angels, guides, most high. And, and, but you have had to have do, done the work. You know, you've done the work. You've done everything you could do. You know, you've sowed seeds. You've done all, you've done your shadow work. You, and when I say sow seeds, I mean like good seeds of you've done, you've done work, right? You've been doing your cleansing. You've been getting out of nature. You've been being good to people. You've been healing um, your heart. You've been, you're um, not harboring guilt or anger or frustration for anyone else. You're not feeling like other people have control over your life and they can manipulate your energy or manipulate your world or do things and get away with it. It doesn't matter what the hell they're doing. It has nothing to do with us. Right, Sierra? It has nothing to do with us. Nothing. And once you can realize that, that's when you can move forward. Okay, no more blaming. I'm hearing no more blaming. I heard that for somebody. It's your fault. They stopping me because of this. I can't move because of that. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. 
When are you going to start saying it's a no for me? It's a no for me. It's a no. It's a no. And guess what? Eventually, they'll be knocked out of your way. I wanted to say kicked. And I agree with that. Yeah, they'll be kicked out of your way. When you say that's enough, I said that's enough. The universe is going to say, well, wait a minute. See, I said that's enough. Let's go ahead and, and, and uh, grant that, that request. The universe will bring right in. Because, okay, because you and the universe, God, source, he, she, or whatever you believe in, and the earth, whatever, you and the earth need to be in balance. And some, I have had somebody, I've had someone hanging in so long that that baby's about to break. It's about to burst. They just sold me a big nasty pimple. Ew. <laughs> okay. It's a big one. It's got a white head to it. It's about to burst for somebody. Because they held strong. Or you held strong. And you're like, no, I won't be doing that. All right. So let's take a look here. What have you been doing here? Grace. I like that. So somebody been, somebody been, someone has been just waiting. So I didn't have to even tell you what I just said. Someone, I didn't because you literally, that's what's changing something. Here. I think I just saw the world card too. That's what's changing something. Let's take a look. I think I want my what other day. Yeah, give me a second. Let me get that deck. Hold on. Deck. Okay. I don't even know what I did with the deck. Okay. I know. And it's funny. I knew I was missing a deck, but I don't know. You know what? I don't know. Okay. Well, anyway, maybe she got it. We'll move on to another one. We can use tarot. Sorry about that. it you know I, yeah because I went and went to look for something and it wasn't there anymore so I feel like that's what's happening someone went to look for something or went to look for you and went to look for you hold on wait for it I just saw it went to look for you and they can't find you anymore you're not there yeah I just saw the eight of cups yeah so somebody went to look for you or vice versa, however, take it how it resonates, 33 and o'clock. Some was sad because they can't find you. You walked away. So I feel like I've got, yeah, I've got two different groups here. I have someone who is in the void. They could be a mother, mother figure. Some feminine energy here that feels left out in the cold. I heard that clearly. They feel like they're in the void. Stressed and depressed. Mm. Well, you're in the void. You feel stressed and depressed. Please see the disclaimers below. I do not claim to be a doctor. Please take care of yourself. If you feel that you've got anything going on, you're feeling down in the dumps and you feel like you can't go on or anything like that, please, please seek out, seek out professional help. Yeah, there's a three of swords here. Wow. 
So somebody feels very, I heard, defeated as well. Somebody feels defeated or this energy feels defeated. And it's all because I keep feeling like you took care of yourself. You took power back. You took someone here. There could have been, I know it's not for everybody. There could have been beauty spells involved here. And your beauty is coming back. You're getting your looks back. Everything is coming back. Someone was doing a lot of like manipulation. For someone else, you took your power back and you said no. You said no. Wow. You said no. Yeah, you know, and it's, She's this with this card, see, it's the seven of pentacles, but I'm looking more at the energy on this one. And perhaps maybe your money was messed with too by someone or this energy. But she's drawn, a, I feel like she's drawn a line in the sand. That's what I just got with this like, enough is enough. So you drew a lot line in the sand here, and you said, no more, no more. No more messing with my life. No more messing with my money. No more messing with my mind. No more messing with my spirit. No more. No more. No more. I want to say this. No more messing with my children. Was somebody messing with somebody's children too? This mother figure. Now this could be anybody. This could be like your mother. This could be an ex of someone's who's just jealous of you co-worker who's just jealous of you who's been doing some weird things or just been being nasty to you doing things nasty behind your back but you figured it out you since see it for what it is like yeah i feel that somebody was like you know what i don't have to actually see what you did without seeing what you did now if that's to you you'll know exactly what i'm talking about somebody knows like you can tell or you've been getting a feeling, you've been getting inklings, you've been watching readings on top of that, and you've been getting signals from the universe, dreams, even visions. There's just something here that you just know, like I know. Like the math ain't mathing, something ain't adding up. Yeah, I just see, I see another 33 in your, your reading, 1733. So some type of new beginning and some, something you've mastered. You may even your skills, if you are, um, this can go for anyone though. You may now be all of a sudden clairvoyant, clairsentient, clairsentient, having vision, dreams. Your intuition is heightened. Somebody came up to the 5D. I really feel like the April that April 8th eclipse brought us to another level. I've certainly seen it. I've seen some new gifts in me that I'm like, woo that's cool i could never could do that so i definitely feel like something has become heightened for you as well but you drew a long line in the sand you say hell no i'm done so that's good so you realize so i have somebody i have two groups someone who realized it's totally up to me whether I get past this, whether I can go forward in life, whether I get this good fortune, whether I get this opportunity, um, whether I go forward or not, it's totally up to me. I'm the master of my fate with that 11 in there. Nice. A nice. Wow. I'm in control of this. Someone also started a business. You were like, I'm controlled. Yeah, this is here. What? You brought justice on this thing. You brought justice to this thing. Damn. You brought the justice, sweetheart. You held on to your faith. You held on to your power or you took your power back. 
You said no more. You drew a line. Yeah, you took the power back. You said, I'm getting my shit. I'm getting my wish. I know what's promised to me by the universe. I know what belongs to me. And I know what I will not even tolerate. 55 on the clock, 1055. I love that. I love that. I know what I won't even tolerate. Somebody went and got their shit back. Somebody went and got their shit back and took back their queen. Wow, you're taking on the queen of pentacles, queen of wands, and the universe? The world card? Yeah. It's a no. I heard that clearly. It's a no for me. That's right. I know that's right. My guys know me well. It's a no for me. <laughs> and it was all because you did something different. It was because you were graceful about it. It was all because you were graceful about it. It was all because you said enough is enough. Because you can still take your power back and still be graceful. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. You can still fight back and be a lady or a gentleman. I'm going to gently take my shit back. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what I like. Okay, let's see here. Wow. This is a power. I'm getting chills. That's a powerful energy. My goodness. Somebody's like, no, I'm taking back what's mine. I don't, whatever this is, you took it back. Whether it's your energy, whether it's money, whether it's a position. What, you took your stance back and somebody stood strong and said, I draw the line right here. Period. I ain't doing it. I heard clearly, now watch it come in. So somebody like that, watch me get my shit. I love that. Forgiveness reverse. Yeah, see... These people are upset or person. Oh, and I said people, magic. You see this? See, someone in your environment has definitely been doing some type of magic or manipulation energy or trickery. Depends on how it fits for you. Trickery. They may even be on some type of, they may have some type of addiction to some type of drug, something. I feel two things with this card. One, they feel you're never going to forgive them. And I heard clearly there's no way out. Two, they're angry. They're bitter. They're frustrated. They're mad. They're mad because you got, you did something. You took your power back. <laughs> Period. You took your power back. So they've been doing some sketchy stuff. Somebody was doing something that was just wrong. Just wrong to you and just thought that you just continue, continue to just whatever. And they took you for granted. Because I see, I keep seeing somebody with a flower in their hair. Now men just pick up, get in where you fit in. Okay. But there's something about somebody just enjoying now I'm seeing a man in a Hawaiian shirt. Okay. So it's like somebody just chilling on the beach. In other words, this, the signal I'm getting with that is like, you literally were like, I'm not going to, I'm not fighting. I'm just, I just know. There was a time when you did fight. You did spiritually, mentally, physically. You can fight, you know, with by standing, simply standing and being fight mode. But I see somebody who just was like, you know what? I said what I said. I put my seeds out to the universe. I did what I need to do. My prayers are done. I did whatever. And I'm not going to fight with y'all. I'm going to let y'all. I'm going to let y'all over there look crazy. 33 in the clock. Again, more mastery here. I'm going to let y'all go ahead and do that. Or I'm going to let you go ahead and do that. You go ahead and do that. Because I'm not worried about you. I'm not threatened about you. I'm not even. And that's the thing, though. That's the key. I'm hearing clearly, too. That's one of the keys is not giving energy to this. Not giving energy to it. And because once you once you let go, they can't do nothing. Who are you doing it to? I already called it when I called in. I said what's mine is mine, period. It's just like the sign. The sign is coming to me now. It says, why it says, one good reason why we should pray. Because God can do more in three seconds than we can do for ourselves in a lifetime. Why am I going to do that? Somebody just laid it over. They laid their burdens over to God. Most high, whatever you believe in. He, she, it. Period. <laughs> that's just like, that's what I'm going to do. 
I'm not gonna let you stress the hell out of me. I don't think so. So now they wanna be honest though. They wanna be honest, but they wanna keep doing stuff. So it doesn't make any sense. Or they feel like the only way out of this, ooh, fish. The only way out of this is honesty. Yeah, oh, okay, yeah. Somebody though, there's a mixture of energies, especially if you're dealing with more than one person. One person wants to just go ahead, get it over with, tell you, be honest, let's just leave this alone. Somebody else wants to keep going. And the reason why is what? Look, we got death card. We got the failure card. We got fear. Somebody's scared that they about to be out of here because they failed. So whatever they did, especially if they were dipping around in magic. Something's either coming to a complete end. To whatever it is that they've been doing. Either way, it's coming to a complete end because you took your power back, 55 on the clock. Or somebody just might be getting eclipsed on out of here, if you know what I'm saying. I feel like two out of three people, if there's three people, two out of three understand that. If it's five people, four out of five understand that. But there's one, I was about to say, it juts. Just one idiot. <laughs> That's what I heard. Listen, I'm not calling you an idiot. That's what I got. And this could be their group. Somebody in the group that's like, you're an idiot. Who wants to keep going when they've completely lost. This is more so, I'm jealous of you. I hate you. Why did you get this? Why are you doing this? Why do you get the position? Why do they like you? What do they want you? Why are you? Is it better? What? You know, what's better? You got a bigger B? You got a, I guess it'd be a bigger D than me? Then, does he got a bigger D than me? And what's going on? Is her P better than mine? You know, that's the low surface. Some, some, someone that you're dealing with is on. For someone else, what do they deserve the position for? I think I'm smarter. Or somebody thought they could get a position with looks. Mmm. I see somebody holding up. Like I see a lady with, they just showed me her leg, a breast out, you know, getting higher positions, getting jobs. But with this particular, in this particular situation, you outshine them. I'm hearing that clearly. You outshine them another 33. You outshine them and they saw beyond the breast because guess what? The breast ain't going to pay the bills. All right. So <laughs> the company's like, yeah, no, we need somebody that can actually do the job this time. That was all well and great for that first position that you did, but I can't take you any higher than that because we're going to need more than, we're going to need some brains, not just boobs on this one. I got that for somebody as well. Somebody else also is like, I'd rather have somebody who's going to be of service, who's going to actually be able to do the job or somebody who's actually going to be able to help me, work with me, serve me. I serve them. We work as a team because I can't do nothing with that. What you got going on, whatever that person had going on, it's not enough. Somebody figured that out. They're like, this ain't enough. For someone else, someone realizes that you bring, you're of service. You're of service to the world. You're not out here acting crazy like somebody said you were. Damn, all these 33s, that's like the fifth one. Yeah, and look at that flew out. That's crazy. That flew out. But these people, so somebody sees that someone has been causing you adversity, challenges. But they see through the lies now. Somebody, they, they see it. There's a big, I feel like there's a tower here. I've never seen this before. Somebody's having a big, there's a big tower or there's something involved here for somebody. This could be, I don't, this for like one person that will pass through. Somebody could be working in government or the Pentagon with something to do with the Pentagon. That's like one person who will pass through. You're not somebody who even watches me. You just happen to, I don't know, click on a button by accident. For others, somebody, there's a tower moment here. Or there's an institution, there's something about an institution, a building, and them seeing it. Something being illuminated with these, you see how these, it looks like a star in the background. And almost to the sun, for me, 
It feels like something's been illuminated. This adversity, these challenges that has been have been coming your way have been um, seen. But it's because of your patience and your gratitude. Again, we go back to, we circle it back down around to grace. You didn't fight. You're like, I'm not about to fight y'all. I'm not about to fight you. I'm not going to do this foolishness with you. Where is that going to get me? You're wasting my time. You're wasting my time. 644 now on my clock. So I'm going to end this here. Thank you so much for watching. Um, again, in honor of 420, Glee Medicinals is teaming up with me. My daughter, link is in the description box below. Or you can go to Glee, the, Glee Medicinals com in honor of 420 this week. So... Go ahead and get yours. She's taking care of you guys. And we thank her. So thank you, Glee, so much for collaborating with me. I appreciate you and helping out my viewers. I do appreciate that. I do appreciate you all as well. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Peace, love, and harmony. Take care.